Hey, it's Brett here, mountain bike more. And I wish I had a mountain bike video for you, uh, but the rain, the holidays, snowboarding, it's all kind of gotten me down. So today I want to share with you my GoPro setups. Uh, I know people had requested this. Uh, I started the video a long time ago, but it just didn't work out. Um, so one of the key things about the GoPro is you got to have enough memory and you got to have enough batteries. So I've been out so many times, including yesterday, with a dead battery. So you want to remember to bring a backup. So I have multiples. Uh, to help me charge it, I have the dual charger and I have placed it right here. So the dual charger lets you charge two batteries. They don't have to be in your GoPro and you're good to go. To back up my files because they're so big and so much and my computer is my main hindrance, I have a five terabyte drive uh, that I can download everything to and then I can bring it back and forth to my computer so my computer kind of works at a decent speed. Okay, so when it comes to memory, the GoPro comes with a 32 gig card. Uh, I don't use these because they're not quite enough. Even shooting in 2K, they're not enough for enough of a video for me. So I use 64 uh, gig or 128 gig cards. I have several of them, so I can switch them out at lunchtime if I'm up at the bike parks. Um, one of the keys that I've learned is this little fuzzy beard stuff. It could be bought for a wind buff, or you can uh, buy a fake mustache and glue it on, or stuffed animal ear. Sorry. But it really makes a difference in the sound quality. Now, the best angles that I get are from my chesty. Uh, my chesty, when I first used it, I was getting so much top tube, so much arms. I really didn't like the video quality so much and the angles didn't work so well. Um, so what I did was I added about an inch and a half extender piece that brought it up closer to my chin uh, and then it got my angles closer to the handlebars. And that's why my videos look a little bit different than some others. Um, and then I can also use super view with this. So it makes every, it so, shows you a lot of space around the handlebars without showing you my arms and all the cuts and scratches that are there. Uh, to help get the angles pretty consistent, I have used uh, a paint marker to mark along the spacer uh, so that I get the same angle every time, as well as where I attach the GoPro camera. Now, when I attach it, it does depend upon what kind of ride I'm doing. If I'm riding steeps, I need the camera angled up a little bit higher than my line. If I'm doing follow cam with someone, I need the angle higher. Um, if I'm doing just my front tire on something that's fairly mellow, uh, then I can use my white line exactly. Um, but this is just a simple inch and a half piece. And another advantage of it is I can use the screw on the other side, which allows me to access my GoPro camera battery and disc without removing it uh, from the actual mount. So I can just leave my camera mounted and go from place to place, change cards, change the battery. All right, I use these stands a ton. Um, it's a lot of fun setting the cameras up and riding and getting uh, different points of view on the trails that you're seeing. Uh, these are little tripods. They don't have a ton of lift. Uh, I keep the screw in there. So if I want to remove my camera, I can just pop it out and then I can install it back on my chesty. And I do this during the rides. Uh, one of the tricks I've learned is you keep the screw in the device uh, so that the end piece doesn't pop out. Every once in a while you'll lose these um, if you don't keep them screwed in. So now I just mount it. I mount it upside down for me. Upside down gets the microphones close. As you know my videos, I'm talking while I'm riding, so it's important to have the, the microphone close. I have the markers or the lines. I just screw it in. And there we have it. Um, a cool thing that I found about the chesty, the GoPro one, is you can unclip it and the straps stay tight. I've used other chesties and when I unclip it during my ride to kind of fiddle with my camera, sometimes the straps will actually come off. 
So the way that the GoPro chest is designed, there are some benefits to it. it. You can unclip it, twist it, do what you want, and then put it back on. All right, so on my full face helmet, it has a camera mount on top. This is actually what got me to buy my first GoPro. But the best angles that I'm finding especially for point of view for, for my riding, for showing you the trails, is the chin mount. Uh, this chin mount, I just used the 3M tape and some zip ties to secure it on the best I could, and you have quite a bit of play here. Um, you will see some people will putty it on there. Um, again, that gets you really good angles, uh, and you can follow people as well as you use your head, um, or you can use it the way I usually use it and point it more at your tire so you can show the trails off. One thing that I use uh, for videos like this, just so I get my angles right without just blindly videoing it, and you can do this also when, you, when you're setting up a camera, is I use my cell phone, and I run the GoPro Quick app. And this allows me to see what you're seeing before I actually film it, so I can see what I'm doing. Sometimes it helps. As you know, sometimes it doesn't. Got a phone call to take. GoPro, stop recording. Like I said, I wish I had more riding videos for you. Uh, I do have a trail, but the sun glare was terrible. Um, so I'll share that after the rains when it dries out. I'll refilm it and it'll be much better quality for you. Um, I have a secret trail as well in Ladera Ranch uh, that I'd like to share. Um, but for now, uh, this was what we have. Hopefully it gives you some ideas to help get your GoPro footage better. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit like hit subscribe and keep your eyes out for future videos because I'll have quite a few little writing videos. I'm starting to play more with camera angles so they should get better and be more enjoyable. As always, leave me comments. I use your comments to make the videos better in the future um, and hope I see you on the trails. Y'all more! Mountain bike, bike more. more. Ride more. Subscribe, laugh more, like, crash more, comment, crash more, comment.